Hello, weekenders, and welcome to our staycation at Drury Plaza Inn in Disney Springs. So we are here this weekend to try out one of the newest Good Neighbor Hotels with Disney. This, uh, this resort opened in December of 2022, so it's been open less than a year, so still relatively new. Um, so as you guys can see, it's got a lot of floors, but we are super excited to try this property out. So come along with us. So we are next to the pool. This is kind of the covered area um, that I thought was really cool. So I want to talk to you guys a little bit about all of the perks that come with this resort. Um, so first and foremost, you've got the saltwater pool, the whirlpool. There's even a splash pad that's over there. So if you've got kiddos, there's plenty of entertainment for them for any of the times that you're not in the park with them. They have a 24 hour arcade, which I know some kids are really going to love. And even some adults looking at my husband right now, um, do know that parking at this property is $25 per day. But one thing you're going to see with this property that is not common with the rest of the good neighbor hotels is there's no resort fee for this property just the daily parking of $25. Another part is the complimentary shuttle that they have available for you guys. So um, this shuttle, you'll see it out front when you pull in because every hour it will take you to any of the four theme parks. So you can schedule that with the front desk, make sure you're registered for the next bus. That can be your transportation to the parks, just like you would have a bus available at any of the resorts on Disney property. Um, this property does also accept pets. Do know only dogs and cats are accepted, um, and there is a $50 per room charge to bring pets. So if you do happen to be traveling with pets, um, that's an option for you. And then, of course, the 5.30 p.m. kickback, which is totally complimentary for anybody that's staying here, as well as their breakfast. Both of those are available on the second floor of the res resort. And then they also have a kitchen and a bar down here across from the check-in desk on the first floor. As you walk into the lobby, directly to the right-hand side is going to be uh, the kitchen bar, um, and the marketplace. The marketplace is your typical convenience store with some snacks. They did have pizza in there uh, from Pizza Hut. Um, you know, and other things that you may forget, a couple little uh, gifts. The bar area was kind of nice. We ordered from there on uh, Saturday night. Nothing spectacular, but not really anything bad either. Great for a late night snack. Um, you know, you don't want to have to mess around, but you can pick something up. The seating area out here was pretty nice too. We did sit there and wait for our food to get ready. Ready. Directly ahead of me is the concierge and the arcade. Um, and there's your check-in desk. <clears throat> so sticking back here in the lobby, directly through the lobby is going to be the pool area. We'll step out here real quick. I'll give you guys a quick overview. I didn't want to get too close. I didn't want to disrupt people that were trying to enjoy the pool area. But there is a splash pad right to the, or to the right of this area, right over there. And then the pool in a hot tub is a very nice sized pool and it does back up right to one of the lakes or reservoirs in the Disney Springs area, which is kind of cool. Um, <clears throat> we'll head back inside. Um, and so we're going to go straight down this hallway here. This is going to take us to the two elevator bays. So first we've got the uh, Cypress Bay for the Cypress, or for the Cypress Tower, and then the Palm Tower. We stayed in the Palm Tower. Um, but those are the elevator blanks there and then straight down here I'm not going to go all the way down but this is where all the conference rooms are I did I think they had, looked like they had four or five conference rooms so plenty of area and tons of outdoor seating guys tons of places where you can just kind of sit and enjoy the uh, enjoy the nice weather 
So we're going to go up these stairs here. I do apologize. This is, you're going to see in a minute. This is going to take me a second to get up the stairs just because uh, this nice lady was uh, mopping the stairs. So I had to be careful. I uh, don't want to fall down and get hurt. <laughs> um, but we'll get to the top of the stairs here. I'm going to um, take a left and show you a bit roughly where the gym was. It was not a very large gym. I didn't actually get it on film because it was kind of a, a smaller gym. Um, and I didn't want to, there's people in there, so I didn't want to disrupt them. Um, but back this way is where the gym is, uh, where you can come and, and get your swole on or take a nice little workout. Um, and then we'll come back over this way. To the right, as you get to the top of the stairs, is actually where the uh, cafeteria is. You'll see that right in front of us here in a second. But that's where the kickback was and where breakfast was served every morning. Let's head up to the room, guys. All right, let's give you guys a tour of the room. We are in room 1639. So we are on the 16th floor of the Palm Tower. So first, when you come into the right, you're going to see extra bedding up top, some hangers. So this is your closet space. You've got your iron, ironing board, some extra space down here. You'll also see a coffee maker, ice. This is where your safe microwave and cooler are with a little extra storage down below. You also have an extra sink and mirror in the entryway. So you guys will see that's where I came in right there. And this is all to the right of you, right in the entryway. Got some really cute art. I love that Orlando sign. When you come in to the left is going to be your bathroom. This is a soft closing kind of barn door, which is really nice. Here's your bathroom, really, really big light up mirror, single vanity, towels. Here's your hair dryer, a toilet with some art above it. Here's your stand up shower, really, really nice. We've got some products on the wall for you. Body wash, shampoo, conditioner. Brant stood in here. And you guys remember, he's six foot six, about 375. And he had plenty of space in that shower. So that's incredible. Let's show you the room. So we've got some art right here on the wall. This is a pull-out sleeper sofa right here. I think it pulls out into a queen at least. Little side table, got a table right here, some workspace over here in the corner. Now we did get a King Deluxe room. So this is the king bed right here. Love the back of that headboard. This is your TV. You've got some extra storage over here, your desk space. Really, really nice setup, super cozy. It's got a menu for the kitchen and bar that's located downstairs. Now our King Deluxe room comes with a sleeper sofa and a terrace. So let's walk you out here. Now do remember the Jury Plaza Inn is the newest Good Neighbor Hotel with Disney. It just opened up in December of 2022. So this hotel is less than a year old, but you've got some chairs out here, table if you want to come out here in the morning and eat breakfast. This is the view from our terrace. And you will see Disney Springs, the Aerophile, Cirque du Soleil and everything right over there. So this is a Disney Springs area resort. Got some other hotels around us, but I'm not going to lie. This is a pretty nice view. I will say, obviously, the highway is right there. So when I come inside, You can still hear the highway just a smidge, but I don't think 
it's going to interrupt anybody or prevent anybody from going to sleep. So if y'all brought kids or anything like that, but this is the tour of our King Deluxe room with sofa sleeper and terrace. It's beautiful. I love it. All right. Most important part. We got to test the bed. What do you think, hun? This is nice. It is very soft. I will give it that. This seems like it's going to be a comfortable bed, but I'll let you know in the morning. Okay, so one perk of staying at the Jury Plaza Inn is their 5.30 kickback offering. Totally free, but it's basically a buffet on the second floor of the hotel that's got just snack items, like light dinner type things. So they've got pulled pork sliders. They've got a baked potato over there. They've got some nacho options. Um, they've even got a, a small salad bar. So this is included in your stay. So we're going to pick up some food because we're heading out to the Universal Annual Passholder event tonight. We want to grab a little something before we head out. So we'll uh, show you around and see what kind of offerings in. So I want to talk a little bit about the, the quality of the food. Yeah. Um, I'll make the breakfast really simple and easy. It was hotel breakfast. It was hotel breakfast. There was a good variety and good selection when it came to carbs, because there was waffles, there was cinnamon raisin toast, regular toast, English muffins, bagels, muffins, cereal, pancakes, Mickey waffles. I guess that's waffles. But yeah, they were Mickey but waffles. But you didn't pancakes. say Mickey waffles. Um, pancakes. So there, oh, and then the biscuits. Biscuits so and gravy. Yeah. There's a lot of biscuits. A lot of gravy. carbs. Had <laughs> some fruit and stuff over there too. Uh, and then sausage eggs. I did like that they had sausage, salsa, and cheese to put on the eggs. It's a nice little piece. Yeah. They've done a pretty good job of trying like salt and pepper and sauces and cheeses and just overall toppings for yeah. different things. And not the greatest breakfast, but not a bad breakfast. And honestly, for a free breakfast, it, it was as good as a lot of the breakfast, is, breakfast we've paid for at Disney. Yes. So. Agreed. And you get, I mean... And that's the thing, y'all. Like, breakfast is never going to be super special. Um, I feel like, especially with the Good Neighbor Hotels, unless it's like a character breakfast or has something else to it. But huge selection, great option if you've but got even a, a lot of the character breakfast is just basically what we have here. Yeah. You just pay a lot of money to make characters. <laughs> Go to Topolino. Um, for sure. That may be the best breakfast on property. The, the kickback that was a cool thing that was really you take cool here. yeah so the 5 30 kickback it runs from 5 30 to 7 30 also completely complimentary um they say it's got a rotating menu so i don't know what else is available for you but um when we went up there last night there was like a nacho bar that had nacho cheese salsa sour cream okay jalapenos they had a baked potato bar they had little pulled pork sliders they had hot dogs i'm not sure i would call it a baked potato bar they had baked potatoes and butter, butter and sour cream yeah <laughs> um but you could but, pull the cheese from like the salad bar because they also had again bar maybe a little bit of a stretch but um they had a couple toppings here and i think we something that we didn't take advantage of one of the coolest parts about it was Three free alcoholic drinks built for per adult. Yes. So that is also included with your stay. When they check you in, you get the 530 kickback. They give you a little card to carry around. And on the back, it's got little check boxes. And um, for everybody that's staying in your party for any of the days that you're here, you do get three alcoholic beverages per day. And when you think about the price of this resort, I think we paid. We paid about 200 per night. But when you think about the 5.30 kickback, three complimentary cocktails, free breakfast, free shuttle, all of the perks around the hotel in terms of arcade, the pool. And you could easily make a meal. You could easily make a meal out of the kickback. Oh, for sure. That's, I was, we were looking around, and there were families all over the place feeding all of their kids. Like, it'll fill you up. It's not like a snack bar. But overall, I think we'd highly recommend this. Remember sure. to reach out to Bree in the comments below or in the comment or the description, yep. the description section below. Remember to reach out to her. She'd love to help you plan a trip using yep. this or any of the other good neighbor resorts. 
Um, and of course, any of the Disney resorts or Universal resorts as well. So. Yeah, and I can book you a hotel room, just the room, or I can book you packages as well. So um, the link to my Facebook page as well as my quote form are in the description for you. So let me know if you're ready to go to Disney. And you did mention earlier that you get early park admission from here too, right? No, I did not. So because this is a good neighbor hotel property, it does include early park admission for you as well. So when you are reserving the shuttle, do keep that in mind. But we'll see you guys next weekend, guys. Bye.